Welcome back to my 100% playthrough of Heretic on the Black Flag difficulty for the PC playthrough GZ Doom. We are also doing all levels on a want start, just like the other episodes. So, with that in mind, we are doing Episode 3, Mission 2, the cesspool with a want start. Let's begin. Now, uh, there's not much to this opening area, or is there? Yeah, there are a few Ophidians here to your left and your right in these cages. And fire gargoyles come out to these areas with the yellow key doors. We're gonna try to ignore the Ophidians for now till we get some better weapons. We can hear them rattling. That's the, uh, axe sound they make. We're gonna go in here, kill these fire gargoyles. And these regular gargoyles. All these gargoyles need to friggin' die. And so do these saber claws, because they're here too. You might notice that this level has quite a bit of symmetry going on. So, there'll probably be similar spawns here, but in some areas it's different, so keep a sharp eye out. But anyways, we're going to have to deal with all these enemies here. I would decide to do it with the wand. Because, uh, why not? I like getting use out of this thing. And plus, it's still useful even if you have all the weapons. Sorta. So there are more saber claws on this side. Just like the other one. I just managed to get them all in this room. But now we're done with that, we can go into either one of these rooms. I can uh, show you what's in both of them, because we'll have to go through both of them. There are egg sacks in here and gargoyles. We can use, ugh, we can use these to uh, explode the gargoyles, but I kind of exploded myself in the process. But hey, this is one of the levels where you can find the fire mace. And here's one of the locations. I will also post uh, the other locations of the fire mace where you can potentially find it in the description. So, uh, get a good look at that if you're wondering where the fire mace could be. But, if you're unlucky like I was in episode 2, you might not find it in here at all. There's a chance you might go the entire episode without finding a fire mace, so, uh, keep that in mind. Just pray, just pray to uh, whatever the Sheed worship, and uh, hope that you get the fire mace. Uh, it's not that big of a deal. Some people don't like the fire mace, but I do, because the tome version is amazing. So anyways, this goes to the other area. It has Wings of Wrath and the Ethereal Crossbow. And going here will send you back to, to the same place you were. And I believe we missed the button. This one. So, press it, and it will lower the yellow key platform. Now, we can finally go through the yellow key. And we can also kill these rattling assholes. Watch out for the one behind you. Because he's still firing at you. Since we don't have the Dragon's Claw, and I don't really feel like hitting them with the wand power, I don't want to do the hit scan Harry strategy on them. So I'm going to the right uh, door first, because if you do, there's a Were Dragon here, and there's also a secret Silver Shield and Bag of Holding. Which is fine by me. Fine and dandy. Now exploding this will probably damage the Wear dragon here. Soften him up so we can kill him with the crossbow easier. Blowing these up will kill at least one of these golems, probably, if you alert him here. There's an energy orb here, some more ammo, all sorts of useful knickknacks. There's also the hell staff here behind where the wear dragon was. 
But now if we go through this area, we're not going to go through that portal just yet. Instead, we are going to go through the other uh, door. Because a torch is here. And so is the Saber Claw. And so are these Gargoyles. And so are these other Saber Claws. And so are these other Gargoyles. Affidian's here too. Whole gang's here. And another green door's here too. I'm going to use the Hell Staff on these fellas. Keep in mind that there's uh, two of them here too. Try not to get hit by the last one they shoot you, the yellow projectile, because that one does a lot more damage than those purple projectiles. So here is the Dragon Claw. What we can do here if we want to use the portal is, uh, just let me grab this for a second. And this Quartz Flask is here. Anyways, what we can do is a run towards it. But watch out because these guys are here and in fact I'm gonna try to uh, nah I'm gonna use the f tomed up uh, hell staff on them and the wand yeah these guys can be a real pain but if you play the hit scan Harry strategy you can get past them without much of a hitch so I'm guessing this is the eponymous cesspool. Maybe this whole level is a cesspool, but I do kind of like the design on it, so I don't know. The green key's here, but when you get it, two Ophidians will reveal themselves. And now, let's use that fire base real quick. There we go. Getting some good use out of it. My only regret is that I wasn't able to use the tomed up version for a while longer. But that's the uh, risk you get. There are some time bombs here in these corners. Grab them if you want to use them. Or want to go for all the items. Now this one sends you back. But you can just go back through it. Uh, I must be mistaken. You'll want to go through this one when you're done with that it will send you back but uh, actually you go through either one because they both lead to green doors now you can go through this one first or you could go through the other one I'm just gonna clean out this part of the this area of the green door at least this green door just a little bit because I also want to go through uh, the other area it's a bit of a detour green door. It has a disciple behind it, so watch out for that. But it also has some weapons, or ammo even. Mace spears, a pile of mace spears. Which is always nice, if you have the fire mace. I'm going to try to time bomb these guys and uh, almost die because of it. Now I would suggest to play the Hit Scan Harry game, but Disciples of the Sparrow can fly, and sometimes that's a real pain in the ass, like it is right now, because I'm nearly dead. <laughs> but hey, we're getting some items out of it, and we're getting all the kills. So yeah, just use your uh, Dragon Claw on them. Watch out for uh, these gargoyles too. And when you press this b banner here, you get the Phoenix Rod. Oh yeah, and the Enchanted Shield is here too, which is a nice bonus. So here is the Tome of Power, and here is an Ophidium when you grab it. Now, here's another room with the uh, Gauntlets of the Necromancer. Pressing this switch will lower this area down. 
but we aren't going to go there yet because we need the blue key. Now this is the place we entered earlier. It has a kind of a storage area look to it, like uh, E2M7. It also has uh, places where you can go to grab some goodies. Goody goody. So I'm going to kill the saber claw here. And just like the last secret, uh, this banner opens up to reveal an item. In this case, the Ring of Invincibility. Now, when you go up here to try to grab the blue key, this part will open up. And in fact, I'm going to use the Ring of Invincibility and the Fire Base, tomed up. Yeah. Sometimes it... Sometimes the, uh... Disciples don't flicker, and it doesn't go through them, and it kills them instantly. So I'm going to take that opportunity to kill them. Hell yeah. Also, we ain't got the Wings of Wrath earlier, so we're going to use them. Right here, in fact, to get this Mystic Urn. And I'm going to use it right now, because why not? I hear a gargoyle. Probably a stray. If you, uh, missed them, uh, keep a ear out for that laughter. And you can also use the Wings of Wrath to, uh, fly up here and grab Morph of them and some other items, like ammo. For weapons you may or may not have. Oh yeah, and when you open this door, an Iron Lich is here to say hello. So what you can do, make sure the lich moves, so you can do the hit scan Harry trick. I don't know why I call it hit scan Harry. I just like alliteration. But that's all the enemies. We weren't able to use all these time bombs, so I'm gonna do that right now. Yeah, I'm gonna use this torch too. And a morphobum at the wall. I'm gonna turn it into a chicken. And a chaos device? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like I said, I'm doing a one start for every level, so all these items are like redundant to me, including these quartz flasks. But we are done with the cesspool. And it's a pretty good level, I think. Um the trap with the disciples of sparrow in the portal can really screw you up if you're not ready for it though. But I was. And I hope you were too. I hope this video was informative. <laughs> it's kind of the reason why I'm doing these. Anyways, now that we're done with the cesspool, we will go on to E3M3, the confluence. Oh boy, they're pulling out the, th th the source for these level names now. This isn't even the beginning. Just wait until we get to the expansion levels. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, to the loo.